Here with Dominican women's soccer head coach Kelly Coffey, kicking off his third year after improving the team's record in each of his first two. Coach, the Penguins are picked eighth in the PacWest preseason poll. Your thoughts? Well, I think, um, you know, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a motivational tool for us, uh, you know, but it's a new season and we've got to prove it. I think we made some steps last year. We took some steps and improved and uh, did some things that um, moved us up the table. Uh, you know, and I think, you know, personally, I think we probably deserved a little bit higher, but you got to earn that stuff. And for me, and it's, a, it's kind of a cliche, but preseason polls don't, they don't mean anything. Where do you finish at the end? And, you know, this will be bulletin board material for us. Uh, you know, when we go into games against opponents that were picked ahead of us. So, frankly, it doesn't concern me. Great. And first-year assistant Jody Lingefeld has helped you bring in an impressive recruiting class. Which newcomers should we keep an eye on to make an early impact? Yeah, do Jody's. she's done a great job. She's, um, you know, really hit the ground running and brings a great wealth of experience uh, coming from a successful program. Uh, and, you know, has, has helped, helped immensely so far last spring and then into this fall so far. But um, I would say the, the top recruits, and here we are in early preseason, uh, but the, the top performers so far have been uh, Kayla Kakua from uh, Southern California. She's from the Eagles Club. Um, Taylor Evinger uh, from Sacramento uh, have impressed. Uh, but the other freshmen, uh, you know, have have some potential. Um, I would see the, say those are the, the big ones to watch. A transfer from Solano, uh, Annalisa Pena uh, has done well in the fitness test. Um, but it's a it's a solid group with a lot of players that if they're you know if they're not starting, they're going to be contributing. And I can see they they come from good clubs, good pedigree, good coaching. Uh, so they're ready to step right in. As a, as a reserve or possibly as starters. And you've got some key seniors and the bulk of your offense returning. Which returners have made strides in the offseason? Well, I definitely think our attacking players uh, are the strength of our team. You know, I think uh, everything starts with, with Mariah Meza and what she does. Um, but we've got a ton of uh, pace and speed up top. Uh, Rachel Stoll, Bailey Kaiser, uh, Mia Vene, who, who transferred in last spring, um, Lily Dubeck, who was all conference her freshman year, uh, is is getting back to 100%. She had ankle surgery, um, and you know that's that's where you know we kind of want to hang our hat in terms of you know what what we're going to be able to do on the attacking side of the ball because uh, there's some firepower there, and you know some of them are going to be you know, coming off the bench where they could be starters in a lot of teams in our conference. So um, that's certainly a strength for us. And obviously you have high expectations. What's your overall outlook for 2017? Well, I, you know, I think and I hesitate to put, you know, wins and, and losses and here, here's how many games we want to win. Um, you know, I think it, it starts with, uh, you know, our, our defensive work rate, what we do on that side of the ball. Um, and everything else will take care of itself. We're going to figure out how to score goals. We've got too many weapons, too many players that have scored goals in this conference. Um, but it's going to be our defending. And I think, I think if we can get that taken care of and we can be you know, strong in the back and in the goal, um, we have two very experienced goalkeepers. Both have uh, full seasons of starting uh, experience, and that'll help us. But, um, you know... I think, I think we're ready to improve on what we did last year and how much we improve, I think will be based on, you know, how well we defend throughout the season. All right. Well, the Penguins open up with Stanislaus State and Cal State East Bay on September 2nd and 5th, respectively, with both matches kicking off at 4 p.m. right here on Kennelly Field. Coach, thank you. Go get them. Corey, thank you.